darkness of the moon, it blots things out. Yes, it does. The dark soul will take a star and spit it out. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. And then it's gone for good. Gone for good? We're gone for evil. Which is it? Which is which? Which, which is which? Mother? Yes, we did teach you matters, but those ears can't listen when there is no silence. Mother, why didn't you tell me that they let you out of the asylum? Oh, so many questions, but the dead get no answers. Mother, I, I, I don't know what they told you, Mother, but I am not dead. Is that my baby boy? Yes, Mother. It's me. It's No, 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 you are not my son. You are not my boy. Mother, I just... No! The ice, it flames and flickers and it consumes no love. I just wanted to check... Some tea. Some tea and cookies. Lemon tart, she loved tea and cookies. That will bring her back. She just adored you. She's not real, Mother. Poor, poor, poor Derek. Please be careful. Don't you know that the Delahan does not like people who come back to the living? The Delahan? Yeah. Do you know do you know what happened to me? <gasps> okay. A fresh tea of kettle is all I need for what ails me. No, 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 answer me! Answer me! Just... Yeah, you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, well, I'm not supposed to be alive either. I'm pretty good at doing the things I'm not supposed to be doing. We didn't finish talking about in Ruby's. They don't have anything else to say to you about that. Okay, let's put aside your vampiric boyfriend for just one second. I'm here to talk to you about something else. It's about Lance and the other victims of your ritualistic serial killer. Uh, victim. It's just one victim. It's just Lance and the ballet dancer. That is why I am here. From what I can tell, you have at least seven other victims. These look nothing alike. They're not even the same crime scene. So that's because they've been carefully masked to look like something else. But I spoke to Yakumo. In the cases where the bodies are mostly intact, they're missing something, a limb or an organ of some kind. So it stands to reason that the ones where the bodies are destroyed, th they're missing something too. What makes you think this has anything to do with Lance's murder? Because of what all of these have in common with one another. Me. Thank you for this again, Doctor. Yeah, well, that's what I'm here for. I figure going the extra mile to propose to her in Gaelic should really do the trick, right? Because she loves fairies. I mean, if you think you have to convince someone to marry you, then I don't really think that's a good foundation to build a marriage on. But what do I know? I'm just single, and I really can't pass up on an easy paycheck. And this one, I mean, he asked me to do some research in his grandmother's hometown. He wanted to learn about the folklore there so he could throw her a birthday party and have some remnants of the old days. Mark, these are all people. These people, they're somebody that I helped in some way. Yeah, it sounds to me like you're the center of all this. I mean, it looks to me like you should be the main suspect here, right? Well, that's ridiculous. It's not easy being accused of something you didn't do. Not is it? Mark, are you coming? Sorry, I didn't realize you were working. No, oh, it's fine. You remember Derek? He's helped me make some headway in a case. Why don't you go have that big salad I stopped you from eating earlier? We'll only be a minute. I'll be right up. That's right. A salad. A big, leafy, green salad. What kind of pish taco eats that? I can see that I may have been wrong about this. But in case I'm not, Mark, please be careful. I'm pretty sure what happened to me isn't spreading, so if you die, you stay that way. You know, I'm, I'm just worried about him, you know? Yeah, mortals, they think they know everything. Especially the ones who know creatures like you and me are real. They're the worst. I was mortal once, you know. And? Did you think you knew everything? Well, that's not fair because I did know everything. <laughs> Well, there you go. You're all done. Yeah? Yeah. And it's gonna work, right? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know what you are. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. Huh. You know, maybe not being mortal does expand the mind. I would never have been able to admit that when I was alive. Hey, Detective Basim, he's gotta take care of himself. 
You can be there for him all the time. And if he can't admit he's dating a pistaco, that's on him. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting kind of hungry. And they just delivered a freshly murdered male in his 20s. It's making my stomach rumble, so to speak. <gasps> Unless you want to have a little fun and feed a fella. Thanks, but now that I'm back intact, I'm back on top. Suit yourself, but seriously. Don't work yourself up over the scene with Mark. These things usually have a way of working themselves out. You know what I mean? Mm. You have a good day, okay? I'll see you tonight. Dinner and dancing. It's a date. <laughs> something that didn't agree with you, good man. What's wrong with me? You're a pistaco, darling. And you've been denying your body what it needs, what it craves. No. You helped me. You made me mortal. <laughs> I don't suppose you remember Hector Del Pino. Why should you? To you, he was just another meal. Me, he was my brother, my world. And when he was gone, I was forced to marry, forced to watch my husband cheat on me. You know, you, you made me what I am today. So help you, I'd rather rest on a bed of needles. And what did I drink? A temporary potion designed to mask your true nature. But it is wear enough, and with it your hunger returns greater than ever. Oof. I don't think it was wise for you to deny yourself all these weeks. You must be famished. Why, Rabia? We both could have changed, been more than we are. <sighs> I'm not sure I need to be good man. Good luck. No. 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 The strength card inverted. Oh, primal energies are running amok and these energies are being directed at those we love. Get your bloody ass in your ash now! You need to just go and bite the bullet. You need to apologize because, let's face it, Mark is pretty much your only friend, so. <laughs> On second thought, you are smarter than most people you know, so go after him.
Do it. Now you got a new face, Nat. Nat can be free? Yeah, now go. But, but, but why aren't you killing Nat? Because Girl Blast will be so much more angry knowing you're out there living your life. But don't mistake revenge for mercy. Now go. strenuous work that I get is usually on my back. I'm not used to running around from places, let alone from Madame Ruby's to here. Oh, I think you wasted your energy. There's not many men here worth running for. <laughs> Please, like I'm here for any of these men. Should they be so lucky? Now nah, I'm here for you and Derek. Speaking of which, where is he? Oh, he's right. He's gone. We need to find him. Madame Ruby's had a vision. Gourmand? Gourmand? Quiet. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. That was my favorite shirt. What did Madame Ruby say exactly? All right, look. We got daft old bird. Who knows? Detective, over here, this way. You need it. Derek needs your help. He's in this building. Thanks. How is it you two are always around when someone needs help? He's got a boner for rescuing people. Me? I got a boner for doing other things to people. Help! Help! Be still. You don't want to do this, Gourmand. No, I don't. You're right. But some things can't be changed. And what I am is one of those things. Birds gotta fly. Fish gotta swim. And I've got to eat. <laughs> Stop! What? It's true. Damn, it's true, you were right. He's the fish taco. Don't take another step, Mark. <gasps> I have to do this. If I don't, if it gets to be too much for me to bear, I might do this to you. I couldn't handle myself if I did that. He's my friend. You can't kill him. You get a choice, Mark. You get to keep me, or you get to keep him. That's not a choice, I want you both. That's not how this works. I love you, I love you so much. I love you too, not choose. Fine, I choose Derek, you can't kill him, please. It's okay. Rabia was telling me, oh. and if she's correct, a little pishtoko problem will be over soon. Mm. She is correct, High Priestess. Mm. I hope for your sake you're right. She's been let down way too many times lately. She needn't worry. I keep a close eye on Gourmand, both physically and mystically. He won't venture far without my knowing. In fact, I can already sense him on his way out of town. Hey, uh, you, you call for a goober? Wonderful. Oh, now I see him out of the picture. I can finally move on with my harvest. But I'll get my detective, please. That may be a problem, High Priestess. But I 
He's being protected by powers your ogre cannot possibly contend with. What do you mean? You just said that the pitch talker was no problem. He is not a problem. I was speaking of myself. I gave my word I would protect his love. This may not be the way Gourmand envisioned it, but it is the way it has come to pass. No harm will come to this mark, lest you find me as an enemy. How dare you? Do you know she's the high priestess of- No. It's okay, Bath. Well, Rabia. <laughs> I guess you cannot help yourself, no? It is in your nature. We are what we are, Genevieve. We have needs. We have compulsions. And we have no choice but to obey them. We may try to be something we're not, but there's no way to escape the truth. Try as we might, our natures roar to the surface. And we have no choice but to listen or to perish. Today, Genevieve, and your world will burn before I am through with you. Not another one. Great, so. Oh, Zenda, you knew what this was when we found out at Hyas. Go on, then. Hello, my friend. Do not be afraid. I am here to help. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'll be right out, okay? I just need to put something else on. I'd rather you take more off. I can't handle any more surprises tonight. The Bristaco? Uh, how did you know? The human you hang around with, the British one. I overheard him telling Detective Bess and me were in trouble. I, I am just glad it's over. Over? You think this is over? You have no idea what you came back to, or what's out there waiting for you. Then why don't you tell me? <sighs> nah, forget it. What do I know? Probably a whole lot more than your party board person would have me believe, so. Well, I mean, I'm always up for some pillow talk if you game, but uh, maybe in my place, your room's a mess. Uh, so am I. Yeah, you use that one a lot, I can tell. You're not a mess, Derek. You're something else entirely. Just haven't figured out what. You lie. I assure you, O oh great and vow, Genevieve, I am your devoted servant. I would never, ever lie to you. But how is that possible? I was human once. Well, once you were a human, you have shaken off that burden. As such, you cannot kill any of the victims that you intend to harvest. Mm. If you do, they become unsuitable, and replacements must be found. You mean we killed all those people for nothing? Practice. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing it was fun. Oh, Bath. Perhaps it was a good thing I was not able to get the heart that I needed. Bath, show me my guess. <sighs> Untie me. I'm an officer of the law. <laughs> Genevieve, you think maybe now that we've taken care of... Bow, if you have ever loved me, you would not finish your sentence. My mistake, mistress. But look at him! Oh, he is so strong, no? Yes, look at him. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, look at how strong he is. Capable of such violence. Let me go. You regret this, I swear. Fear. It's such an entirely human reaction. Mm. Yes, you should be afraid, my puppet. You should. Oh, think of all of the terrible things we will do. You and I. I can't believe you almost died. Again? Yes, well, maybe I would have, maybe I wouldn't have. Maybe he can kill me and maybe he can't. We don't know, because we don't know enough about what I am to say for sure, so. Madam Ruby, if it weren't for you, I, I, I don't know what would have happened. Oh, I do. Derek would have been torn stem to stern and dilipitated. We're not really using that term. All pish taco victims are stripped of fat. I can't think of a better phrase. That's what I said, so. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I'm going to turn in. Your futures are entwined by the fates. <laughs> you have much to do together going forward. I can sense this. A simple good night would have sufficed. Derek, I am sorry. Hey, you... I came to you with no proof. You, you had love on your side. I don't blame you for not believing me. It's not so much fun, you know. Any out monsters and creatures are real. Detective, it's not that much fun being one of those monsters either. Thank <laughs> you.